Hi. In this video, I will create a, a rate table. In last video, we created a report for our uh, monthly activities. And now I want to calculate uh, the cost of this uh, activities for one month. But for this, I, I need to know the rates of our activities. So basically, you can do this with uh, the standard application, like you can create a, 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 a new inventory uh, uh, inventory record, and you can uh, you can uh, set uh, prices for this inventory, and you can use uh, in your application. But uh, for training purposes, I will create an activity rate table. And I will enter some value for our uh, customers, and I will use this uh, table to calculate monthly uh, cost of activities. Let's start. I will create a new table. Okay. In this table, I will have a uh, cost account, project ID, and employee. Uh, one rate can be assigned to a customer. Uh, for this customer, I maybe I have a standard rate, but sometimes it's changed with uh, with uh, projects. In one project, maybe I have a different uh, rate, and another project I have another different rate. Sometimes uh, also rate can be changed with uh, with employee because sometimes experienced uh, consultant uh, has higher uh, rates and it's sometimes changed with employee. So I will uh, I need a, a structure of these two, three fields comb combination. For that, I will add cost account, project ID, and uh, worker to my table. Also, I need a rate and currency fees. Also, I need a, uh, I need start date and date for this table because this uh, uh, this uh, this date should uh, have a limitation uh, time limitation. So let's start. Let's open our AOT. That's this one. Now, first of all, uh, in uh, in application, there is a structure uh, like table group all, and this table group all is uh, is using lots of different uh, tables in a, in application. We can create uh, something like that, or or we don't. Uh, need uh, any of them, but I want to show you this uh, this logic. So let's use table group all uh, functionality. I'm creating new fields from this one and. Cost account, project ID, worker, ID. Yes. Also, I need rate. I don't want to use uh, Russian localization, so let's use amount. Also, currency code. Code 
and that. By the way, I can uh, create uh, actually uh, time concern tables here. Well, time state. We, we have a property like well time state. Um, for this example, I didn't think of that, but it's a good fit actually. Maybe in next videos, I will create a, a well time state table with start date and date, uh, and uh, I can show you the usage of uh, this kind of table. Uh, but right now, it's it's enough for us. Now let's create new index for our table. Okay. Now I will add these fields because probably I will select this one and this, uh, also this must be uh, unique. Uh, I need to select a little duplicate. Also uh, currency and maybe amount. Yes, currency is mandatory. I will uh, I will write some code for cost account project and worker. And let's look at table property. Let me create for type of field, maybe yes, like that. Cash cup like this. Table group. It's actually a main table, not transaction table. So you can set found. And other than that, it's enough. Now let's uh, copy and create a form for this one. Now I need to drag and drop my data source first. Sorry. Sorry, I closed my form. I need to select table, of course. Now, I I create my data source. I need a design for this uh, form. Let's create, or we can copy from this time. Let's copy from here. And Okay, of course, I need to delete this one. Also, I need to, sorry, I delete grid entirely. So let's get a new grid here. And in properties, I need to select data source okay now i'm yes these are our fields first table group 
account user ID and work. Now let's do it. Also, title data source. Now my form almost ready. Of course, I need to uh, I need to write some codes for uh, this one. But first, let's create a menu item and add this form to a menu and look uh, the solution after that. I'm creating a new menu item for this one, and of course, this is a display menu item. Properties Object Sorry, not query of course, object Just this one Also, let's give a label Okay, now let's add this to menu. Here are my menu extension and drag and drop. Yes. Now let's uh, synchronize our project first because we created a new table and after that. We started. I will start my project and see. Uh, check the form. Okay. Let's create, for example, all customer. If I select all, I'm, I I only need to select uh, customer and of, uh, and of course amount. This and this. Okay. Let's select another one. This time I will this and a related project. Of course, we need to write some codes for this one because if I select a customer, I need the related uh, cost accounts. So let's, let's filter. Maybe yes. Okay, and now let's create a type table. Also, I select this one and the customer. Let's select this one too. Okay. 
Now, uh, if uh, if I uh, looked for Luke, I, I I need to find this rate. If I if I don't find any uh, worker record, I and I need to find uh, this project. If I don't have any project, uh, also I need to find this one. Let's create another one for. Okay. Now it's enough. As you can see, we need some uh, validation and some controls here, but they are not important. We did the same example before. Uh, now, in next video, I will write a find query about RAID. Uh, and I will use this, uh, this find method to our uh, monthly activity reports. I hope it's helping. Happy Daxing.